I'm Dawn Almock here at the Meadows Racetrack and Casino in Washington, PA, where we're talking with Mike Louder, the 2020 Adios winner. Catch the fire, try to hold on, catch the fire. Mike Louder, they win the Adios. You win over 8,000 races in that one race, you feel this is electricity come over you. It's almost hard to believe. And the real spark of electricity was the winning horse, Catch the Fire, owned by Charlie Taylor of CT Stables and trained by John Ackley. Watching the Winter Circle celebration, you can tell horse racing is a family affair that all started at a racetrack. Wilder married the daughter of racing legend Dan Altmaier. 20 years later, father, son-in-law, and all of Altmaier Wilder Racing is at the top of its game, working together in this family business every day. Most people laugh and joke and, and wonder how we all get along the way we do. Every day I feel like I'm blessed. Uh, you know, the uh, harness racing has been in uh, my wife and I's life the whole, our whole time we've been together. And then uh, for Heather to come and enjoy it as much and our daughter Julie, she owns a lot of pieces of the horses. So uh, it's still a family affair and then the granddaughter's coming up and and they're involved, they love horses, so uh, everything's been great. I was in Ohio, uh, obviously racing, and uh, she was doing an internship. She was working also in the race office at Scioto where I was racing. Two years later after that, we got married. We got married, we had the kids, we got the house, we have five dogs, we <laughs> everything is very, very fast. Everything that we do in our life is quite uh, fast. We make fast decisions. We, we move quickly. Um, we're very uh, excitable people, we always say. They had every reason to be excited and nervous on Adios Day. We just kept telling Dad, no matter what happens, like you come home, no matter what happens, we're still your family. We're still going to be there for you no matter what. My girls were here. My daughters were both here. Honestly, I was praying the whole day. <laughs> Before the race, like it's a thing for us to we always like to pray before the race, and we did. When they stepped out onto the track, it was like all nerves, all emotions, and it was definitely something very surreal. And they're off. Elver Hanover is going to leave from the far outside and grab the front. I was just holding onto the fence, and I was like down on my knees. I couldn't even stand up. The Greek freak is second on the inside. Comes the three, catch the fire. She was praying during the race, too. She said, I think I was scream praying, but it's okay. They are on the last turn. It's catch the fire with the lead. Elver Hanover is looking to get toward the outside. I'm moving to the front. We needed every inch of the stretch to, to get it done. On the inside still is the Greek Freak second top of the stretch. They're on their way home in the Adios. When it came down to the wire, like we were all just full out yelling because we knew he was going to get it. And bringing him into the Penn Solar Energy home stretch. It's catch the fire. On the outside, here comes the Greek freak. Up the inside is Elver Hanover. I didn't watch the race until the end, and everyone started screaming. And there's a video. You don't hear that when you're racing. And uh, it's, uh, you know, they were pretty emotional. They were crying and screaming. And didn't know they rooted that hard. Catch the fire, try to hold on. Catch the fire, Mike Wilder. They win the Adios. He just showed up for me. He raced his heart out. We were very thrilled and excited and crying. We did some crying. <laughs> it was a moment this family will never forget. They spent the evening celebrating, but the very next day, they were back at work taking care of the horses, who they also consider part of the family. We got a great team, we got great caretakers. Um, take care of the horses just like they're our kids. They need something. I know they can't talk, but we, we get it for them. We, we, we do whatever we have to do to uh, make their lives as easy as possible so they perform at their best for us. And the main goal in all of this is to be a happy, loving family. Um, that is our greatest blessing, and to take care of our animals and to do so with integrity. And those are the cornerstone of this stable. For more great stories like this, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.